hello hello welcome back so if you've been following my hair growth or length retention series you know i've been keeping my hair in these five twists and i plan to leave them in for a full month i only unraveled them once to film some content for about an hour and then twisted my hair back up it's been two weeks since i installed these twists and my hair is really frizzy i do have plans on saturday so i'm retwisting my hair in hopes that i'll be able to wear it out on saturday now in this spray bottle is where all the magic happens. I created this little concoction. It is a spoonful of Capri's leave-in conditioner mixed with eight ounces of water. It's super easy to make and takes less than five minutes. I've been spraying this mixture on my hair about twice a week. This is very crucial to the length retention process. You can do this with any protective style you have and I actually highly recommend it. If you leave your hair in a protective style for a month or longer without moisturizing it, your hair becomes dry and brittle and it will break off. And then it's like the protective style did the opposite of what you wanted it to. Every time I do this with box braids, I retain at least half an inch of hair. I'm trying this out for the very first time with just my natural hair to see if it has the same effect. I'm also juicing consistently for the first time in my life. So I'm hoping for even better results. But you guys, oh, I'm kind of addicted to Chips of Hoy cookies. And I'm so disappointed in myself. About three years ago, I became aware of how much sugar I was consuming and how terrible I was eating. I was working a lot and there was a McDonald's down the street from my job. And so I was eating McDonald's multiple times a day and sometimes multiple times a week. I just know this is one of the reasons I was experiencing breakage as well as the fact that I was neglecting my hair. Once I became aware of this problem, I started to be more mindful of what I was eating and I've been doing really well up until recently. And honestly, I blame my grandmother, okay? I was at her house recently and she had me go to the store for her to get her some Chips Ahoy cookies and ice cream is along with some other groceries. And she likes to make ice cream sandwiches with cookies and I tried one and I loved it. But also, usually when I eat cookies, I dip them in milk. So this was the first time in years that I had a Chips Ahoy cookie by itself. And something about just that natural Chips Ahoy taste was absolutely delicious. Now, what I'm about to say next just blows my mind, okay? A few days later, I can't make this up. A few days later, Chips Ahoy cookies went on sale for $1.77 per pack at my grocery store. And I just had to go scoop up four packs. I bought four packs. That was the limit up to four packs. And that's exactly what I did. I've been eating like 15 cookies every single day. <laughs> every time I eat one, I just have to have another and then another and, and then another. And then you look up and you're like, oh my gosh, I have a Chips Ahoy addiction. Once these four packs are finished, I will never eat another cookie again in my whole entire life. But moving on, my goal is to help black women with their natural hair and reminding them that hair growth and retaining length doesn't just come from products or genetics. What you put in your body is equally important and plays a huge role on not just your health, but your hair's health as well. I want Capri to not just sell hair products, but be a brand that takes care of black women in a way that allows them to grow in all areas and not just grow their hair. Because stress also has a huge impact on your hair. Basically, anything that impacts your body and health also impacts your hair. So if you have any ideas on how you need to be supported or what would make your life easier, please let me know in the comments. We need less black women losing hair and not retaining length because of stress and just other factors that I feel as a community or at least as a brand, I can assist with in some way. So please let me know in the comments. So right now, you just see me spraying my mixture onto my hair. In the past, when I've had to retwist my hair, to where as a twist out, it never comes out right. It always has a stretched look to it, like a sloppy, just not attractive look. So this time around, because I really need my hair to look right, I'm going out with my friends to have a seafood boil. I made sure to saturate my hair so it would be almost soaking wet. My styles always come out the best on freshly washed hair. But since my new regimen is to wash my hair once a month, I need to figure something else out. So the plan was to get my hair soaking wet so it would kind of shrink up again. And I don't know, kind of like restart it was it kind of had the effect that i did wash my hair but i didn't because when i just twist without wetting my hair so much I, like i said it just doesn't look right i didn't detangle each section with a brush but i did sort of finger detangle towards the end of the twist because i could feel my hair starting to tangle up a little bit and as you can see adding this mixture to my hair and brushing it got rid of all the frizz i didn't need any gel didn't need any oil didn't need much of anything and even if I didn't have anywhere to go, this is still something I recommend doing around the two week mark 
if you don't like all that frizz on top of your head i don't sleep with the bonnet i don't sleep with any type of scarf um we do have silk pillowcases sometimes i use those and then when i'm not using one of those i'm just using a regular cotton pillowcase and that's what causes a lot of the frizz so um there's not really much i care to do about that to be very honest with you i don't mind the frizz a whole lot especially when there's a scarf on my head most of the time or i'm in the house most of the time so now let's talk about why it's so hard to retain length and why styles like this make it a lot easier to retain length so a lot of women feel like years have gone by and they haven't retained a single inch of hair it's not that your hair is not growing it's that for some reason you are not retaining length which can be really hard to wrap your mind around and what makes it even more challenging is there are literally so many different reasons you might not be retaining length it could be because of your diet it could be because of your regimen it could be the way that you're styling your hair and then if all of that checks out and you figure all of that out there could be reasons your hair actually isn't growing or growing so slow that it takes you years to see length and what makes it even worse than that is that so many people on the internet are putting out so much information on what works for them or what isn't working for them then they get on the internet and encourage you to stop doing the thing that's not working for them when the thing that's not working for them could be the thing that might work amazing for you so what you have to do is look at channels like mine for guidance but always pay attention to what's going on with your hair never replace what works for you with what works for something else i'll come on here i'll give you advice i'll come on here and i'll share what works for me but don't ever Take what works for me and just automatically assume it's going to work for you. Don't ever take what doesn't work for someone else and assume that it's also not going to work for you. Everybody's hair is different. You have to try everything yourself and know what works best for your hair. I really like truly cannot stress that enough you guys the two biggest changes i would suggest making if you are not retaining length is changing what you eat and changing your regimen in this video i'm showing you my new regimen i'm two weeks in and have fallen in love you guys the convenience is everything my hair doesn't have to look runway ready every single day and i'm going to embrace that now wearing twists 90 percent of the month is definitely going to help anyone retain more length because you're not constantly manipulating your hair sometimes we do our hair subconsciously and we don't realize that we are being rough with our ends or ripping our ends even if you only do your hair once a month and cause a little bit of breakage remember how slowly hair grows you could very much be snagging off half an inch of hair each month just by detangling if you are not careful that's why wearing styles where you are not doing your hair constantly are so helpful because it doesn't give you the chance to cause breakage so if you want an immediate fix i would say protective styles and when your hair is in a protective style make sure you make the concoction i'm using because i'm telling you the combination of herbs in this leave-in conditioner as well as the nourishing properties from the honey it just does a whole lot to keep your hair healthy and moisturized. I've worn protective styles at least once a year since I was 16 and never saw any length retention until I started spraying my hair with this mixture of water and Capri's leave-in conditioner. It's crazy how one simple step dramatically changes your results. And then the second part to retaining length is just eating a better diet. I know it can get expensive, especially if you have a family, but shopping at places where the fruit or vegetables are a little bit more affordable like Aldi really helps and also just being more intentional with your purchases. Did you guys know a bag of chips is $6 now? Like I still can't believe this life that we're living right now. Anyway, cutting out things like bags of chips and anything else unhealthy and substituting it for fruit, especially when it's on sale, shouldn't be too big of a price adjustment. For example, a bag of chips is $6, a bag of carrots, a three pound bag, no, a five pound bag of carrots that I get from Market Basket is like $4. Mm -hmm. A bag of chips is $6. <laughs> um, a container of kiwi from Aldi is $4. A bag of chips is $6. Pineapple from Aldi is $2.09. So you know what I'm saying? Just things like that. Putting back the thing that is not contributing to your health and picking up some of the things that are. Um, it shouldn't make your grocery bills skyrocket too much. And I'm also not saying you can never eat chips or cookies or ice cream ever again. I just feel that we as Americans, especially Americans, consume that stuff way too frequently. The amount of sugar that is in a Coke or cookies is so unhealthy and our bodies shouldn't be processing that stuff every single day or several times a week. I just, I don't think we were made for that. That's all man-made stuff and I'm sure you know, if we cut that out, there would be so much improvement to our lives. And I really want to push for that. So um, 
yeah and as a matter of fact let me get off here and go cut up the pineapple that i bought five days ago and have not eaten but guess what i did eat today chips ahoy cookies i'm terrible so 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 terrible but thank you guys so much for watching i will see you soon